Definitely I take won't you away. give a f I'll come with you. My clothes are gone. Police body cameras have captured some of the chaos in the past. We're honestly all concerned for our safety. How did they get back here? They broke down two doors. The King 5 investigators first exposed the problem last year. Hard to place foster youth staying the night in offices and hotels, with social workers claiming a lack of support from the state when it comes to after hours foster care. Now, a new claim. I wish you could see my face right now because my face is the the poster child for the retention issues that the that DCYF foster care social workers are facing every day. Deidre Van Every, a supervisor in the adoption unit, chose not to show her bruised face as she told the Department of Children, Youth and Families Oversight Board about what transpired one week ago. She says a 16-year-old who was staying in a Puyallup hotel turned his anger on her. We punched her, kneed her, kicked her in the face, in the head, um, in her back. He dragged her by her hair, smashing her head into the, her face into the tables. And then he dragged her to the third story window while yelling, I'm going to kill you. Kirsta Smith, the social worker's sister, says a security guard was right there and attempted to stop it. He, through all of his efforts, could not pull this youth off of me. But he kept me alive until law enforcement showed up. Law enforcement responding to social workers' calls for help has happened time and time again. This was a known problem and she was afraid that something worse was going to happen and it happened to her. I hope that she finds a safer workplace. If it's with DCYF, all the better. Now this afternoon, DCYF sent me a statement that says in part, they're taking steps to resolve the situation that results in staff being placed in dangerous situations to care for youth. Live in the newsroom, Natalie Swaby, King 5 News.